Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. And today I'm going to talk about a clinical study. The topic is MR-guided focal laser ablation of the prostate. The reason this study caught my attention is where the study is done, and I see it's sponsored by Redbound University. And this location is quite familiar from Dr. Barenz, who is an expert on Combidex and on MRI studies. So I found it interesting that they have now MRI-guided focal laser ablation of the prostate. You have here the, the clinical study number 0220809, and we see it at Redbound University. So let's go now and look what is the purpose of this study. The purpose of the study is to determine the short and medium term. It's interesting, we don't have long term, we need a short term and medium term. What are the results on the tissue, on the cancer, by using laser? So you see, medium term histological cancer control of the local of the focal therapy. So this is something that we don't have a lot of information. Recently I talked about cryosurgery with 10 years follow-up, but with the laser there is no such long-term follow-up information. And this is a study that uh, will recruit 20 patients. It started in July 2014, and it will end in July 2019. So the primary outcome measurements are disease-free survival, and also the histological finding defined by the biopsies, and surviving also looking at the MRI-guided biopsy results after 36 months. It means the biopsy will be done after 36 months after the treatment. Let's go now to the criteria. It has to be newly diagnosed and biopsy proven. Intermediate risk patients. This is very interesting because most of the time the focal therapy is allocated to patients that have low risk and the high risk is kind of avoided. So let's see how they define here intermediate risk. PSA below 20, that means above 10. Below 10 is low risk, 10 to 20 is intermediate risk, and the glycine could be up to 7. And we are all very familiar with that nagging combination of glycine score of 7 by having 3 plus 4 and not 4 plus 3 and all the discussion. Here they will accept patient with total score of 7. Cancer lesion located 1 centimeter away from the neurovascular bundle. Interesting the claim to fame of the focal therapy, whether laser or cryo, is the fact that we are not injuring the neurovascular bundle. These are the nerves in charge of the erection. In order to participate in the study, your lesion has to be found, the cancer has to be at least one centimeter away from the location of the nerve. And also, this tells you again how they are going to do it. They have here multimodality MRI images. That means they are going to guide their treatment by using multi-MRI. Let's see what else we have here. And otherwise, it's quite a routine. Let's look now at the exclusion of patients from the study. Exclusion criteria. Impossibility to obtain valid informed consent. That's routine with all the study. Patient unable to undergo MRI imaging including those that have contraindication, like having pacemaker and other metals. And this is quite routine for MRI to exclude patients from MRI, and obviously they could not join the study. Let's look now at one of the most important things about any information about study, about the location and contact information. Contact and location. We see here we have phone numbers and email. Joyce. Bombers, and we have a phone number here, and the physician in charge is Jurgen Flutterer, and we will magnify it for you here so you'll be able to see the contact information. The study is done in the Netherlands, and we see here it's active in one location in Nijmegen, but not recruiting anymore, but at Redbound University they are still recruiting, and in the third location active study but not recruiting. So this is the one in Redbound University 
that is still open for you to participate. I know that focal laser ablation is done also in the United States, Dr. Sperling in New York, who has some experience, although it's limited, and also we have focal laser ablation done in Galveston, and I'll bring more information about the work they're doing in future videocasts. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please call us at 619-906-4700 or write to us at info at pcrf.org. And you could visit our video blog at askdrbarkin.wordpress.com. Stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.